Hey guys, welcome back. So we are not at my usual place. No, no, no. <laughs> I am here with my friend Abby. I'm staying with her this weekend. She lives up in Indy mm -hmm. and we're going to have a girl's day today. But today we are doing a get ready with us mm -hmm. and we're kind of sharing each other's makeup, just having some girl chat time. Abby also has her own channel here on YouTube mm -hmm. called Make Life Your Runway. <laughs> and I will link her channel down below. So you guys should definitely go and check Abby out. I think you would love her content. Mm -hmm. She does a lot of drugstore makeup tutorials yep. and she does a lot of get ready with me, shot mm -hmm. mustache, yep. vlogs, all the content that you guys love. Also, Abby is going to have a video on her channel as well and mm -hmm. we're going to do a haul. We're going to do like a shop with me at TJ Maxx. We haven't shopped yet, so. <laughs> but we know it's going to be good. We do. We <laughs> so make sure after this video you go and watch that one with both of us. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this get ready with me. Or get ready with us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's too close. <laughs> <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be called snuggle and makeup. <laughs> We're at various stages of getting ready right now. Yes. I'm like <laughs> just starting. I'm stage one. Oh no, you got up and you got dressed and that's washed true. your face and did all that. I have caffeine in me, so that's important. <laughs> Maybe I'm stage two. I mean, our, our stages are just different because mine. Oh, that's I'm true. I'm still drinking my coffee over here. Yeah, <laughs> I tried that. I said, we're being social. Okay, hold on. <laughs> What uh, curling iron are you using here? <laughs> this is the Hot Tools. Do you have any of the like actual Hot Tools brand? Yeah, I have like one of their old school like curling irons too. Mm -hmm. But it's like kind of a larger barrel, so I don't use it a whole lot. But I'm gonna try to do Abby's glowy. Routine, I'm so honored. Like her glowy foundation routine. So Julie I will Dawn link. is doing my my glowy routine. I will link that video tutorial of hers down below. It's her drugstore glowy yes. routine. Using the Glotion, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. It's so good. I used to have the really light one back in the day, but it was like too light. And then I always yeah. used to feel like this one was too dark, but. Like, I never bought it, but I used to think like, oh, I can't get that, it's too dark. Same. But, after you used it and I saw it, I don't want to burn you. Like, you know, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, this could be a deadly, <laughs> a deadly get ready with me. <laughs> I guess we can do a little backstory of like, us being together. Well, if you guys have been watching both of us since 2019, you guys already know, but for those popping in or, just missed those videos. Um, Julie and I became friends because I was a fangirl. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I was thinking about that in the shower the other day, like how if you had never reached out yeah. to me. Because Abby, she did a video where she was shouting out like her favorite creators on YouTube. And she reached out to me whenever she posted the video and was like, hey, like I mentioned you mm -hmm. in my shout out video. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is like so sweet. So I watched her video and I was like, oh my gosh, like I love her content. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she followed back. <laughs> I think I talked about four or five people in that video and I messaged them all, like DM them. It's like, I love your content and I shouted you out, whatever. And Julie was the only one that responded. Um, so I felt so honored. And then I was starting my fitness business and she was starting her fitness journey. Yep. So we set up a call and that very first call, I'm like, Julie Todd Olson is calling me. <laughs> it's like a celebrity moment. <laughs> And then after she got to know me, she realized that I was just an average Joe. <laughs> She's still a celebrity in my heart. But uh, yeah, I will say like the Julie that you see in your, your, her videos. Is her, like that's her. Like there's no like, okay, I'm turning on the camera. Let me get my persona. Yeah. Like that's just, she's that sweet and nice and loves makeup. Like last night, um, 
we pulled out all the makeup that she brought and that I'm currently using and I think we had like an hour long discussion per item. Maybe that's exaggerating, but that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, we talked about <laughs> makeup for like a good hour. Like. <laughs> and we were like showing each other like our stuff that we liked. Like, oh, I really like this product and uh -huh. this is what I use this for and all yes. that. So, it's so, you know, so it's like, sure, there might be a lot of people on the internet that you reach out to that they're not going to talk to you. Right. But you never know if you don't try. That's so true. <laughs> Because I will say there's a few YouTubers, I mean, I think they're smaller compared to like someone who has a million subscribers, but I would still consider them large because they're like 50,000 subscribers or somewhere around there. Ooh. <laughs> um, but I have befriended a couple, like befriend's a strong word, like we all comment on each other's yeah, like, like Instagrams or mm -hmm. we'll talk in DMs sometimes. Um, so there are definitely a lot of like sweet ones out there that are just normal people who just like doing YouTube. <laughs> I think also too, just like people in real life. Like yeah. sometimes if you feel the urge to talk to somebody that you've never talked to before, you should definitely go talk to that person. Because I've had a lot of people in my life that like, if I had never talked to them, yeah. we wouldn't be friends. And it's like yes. crazy because there's one of my other friends, like she just moved back. She lives, she used to live in Texas. Well, she lived here originally and then she had moved to Texas, but now she moved back. But anyway, like I was at like a random church that I normally didn't go to and I guess I had kind of started going there and it was like a larger church. Yeah. And she was just there by herself. I was there by myself and we were kind of sitting in the same row and I was like, I should talk to her. Like yeah. I just felt like I should talk to her and I talked to her and like we exchanged numbers and like I was in her wedding and wow. all that. So it's like, if I never would have talked to her, like I never would have yes. gotten to know her so well and been in her wedding. <laughs> That's kind of how Brooke and I became friends. Um, I've talked about Brooke on my channel and I, did a vlog with her during Vlogmas, and that's who we're about to go hang out with, but uh, I teach group fitness, and this was a few years back. Well, I feel like once has been more than three years, we don't have to start calculating exact numbers. <laughs> yeah, we don't need like to age definitely. ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but she came up to me one day after class, and she was like, you inspired me to become a group fitness instructor, and so she was telling me how she was going through training to do, she was going to do Les Mills Body Attack, which she did that for years, um, but she did give it up. Um, but then after that, she was like, I just feel like we would be good friends. Let's hang out. And we hung out one time and that was it. That was a wrap. We've been friends ever since then. But I guess I sometimes think people like aren't interested in talking or I don't want to like be intrusive in their life so sometimes I'm not as outgoing as I should be mm -hmm. but that really taught me like like you were saying just say hi just be like you want to get coffee sometime and then let it now it doesn't have to be like you're dating them like yeah I just feel like because <laughs> I've like met people before too that like you know it was like oh let's hang out let's get coffee and then we did and uh -huh. then it was like Nothing ever kind of came yeah. of anything after that. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, that relationship, like, it just, you know, we didn't mm -hmm. maybe vibe or maybe, I don't know, like, it just right. didn't work. So, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> That's so true. It's hard to say. And you don't know. I think friendship in adulthood is like dating in a sense. Like, yeah. Uh, do we have things in common? Do we like doing the same things? Do our, <laughs> our visions align with what? how we want to spend our free time together. Because mm -hmm. one thing I told Brooke that I appreciate about her is we'll plan like a Sunday afternoon, like get coffee, go on a walk type thing. But with her, I know she's not going to monopolize, monopoly, whatever, monopoly. Monopolize. There it is. <laughs> My time, she's going to be like, you know, after a, an hour or two, she's going to be like, okay, I'm going to go. And I'm like, okay. Because I think that's one of my fears too is when some people like, they want to just hang for hours on hours. That is very overwhelming to me as an adult because I don't have a lot of free time. I mean, most adults don't have a lot of free time. Yeah. So if I feel like I'm going to get trapped with them for 12 hours, I'm. it makes me overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think like 
sometimes too i know it's hard to like just tell people i know it is like, hard i want to hang out but like i can only hang out like for lunch and then i yeah. have to you know and i think you really nothing. should set it up in the beginning so then they know so then in the moment it's like okay well remember i gotta go yeah i just need to be better about saying it in the middle like i only have two hours to give you okay <laughs> yeah because <for sure. laughs> i know that i can have a tendency not to do it on purpose like i'm not trying to monopolize things uh -huh. but like i just enjoy like being around my friends yeah that, like, i'll just keep going until they're like <laughs> Okay, like, I have to go now. So it probably yeah. works out well that we do live a little bit further away so that when I come, I, I, I don't can... know. I think you're, you're very respectful of my time, too, because part of us planning is, like, when do I come, when do I leave? And I really appreciate that you ask, you know, that oh, it's, like, true. there is a boundary put in place before it even starts. Mm -hmm. So then I know, like... Oh, it's Julie for 36 hours. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like I gotta charge myself up before she gets here. You know? <laughs> then it's like exciting, you know? But I think part of that too is just like anxiety. Part of taking care of anxiety is knowing the boundaries and knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what a lot of this demands from it, not actually the people. Yeah, you're just but, like worried. Yeah, yeah, just managing like, okay, well I have time to do the things I have to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I love the glowiness. Yes, BC. it looks so, I, and yeah. like this is just that concealer by itself. Okay. Like you could use it by itself, yeah. especially if you want like a more natural okay. look. You don't even have to put a concealer over it. Um, but yeah, this is so glowy. Look, look at this, guys. Look at it's how glowy. So, pretty. so yeah, we use the Glotion, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and then I use the Tarte Glow Wand in the shade A Light. I've been loving this so much. I'm gonna try um, those. But yeah, that looks really good. I haven't set anything yet, and I'm gonna try out this concealer that Abby has been raving about. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. It's like a stick concealer. Yeah. And let me take the lid off here. Whoops. So you can see the color better. And this is in the shade Light. Looks like this. But you just like apply it straight on right and then mm -hmm. tap it in with your yep. finger. Initially, I was too scared to do that because I thought it'd be too thick, but it actually melts really easily into the skin. Yeah, I was watching this last night and it does just melt in. Super easy. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. Like, look. And it does blend out, like, yeah. really easily. Like, I just tapped it a few times. And it has to, like, just... You have to really get that. A hint of brightness under the eyes, but yeah. not too much. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Like, this is with the concealer, without. Trying some of Julie's favorites. So this is the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. I've heard so many people rave about this that I'm like... Okay, let yeah, me... I'm curious to see what you think. You might need to scoot a little bit closer. Oh, yeah, to me. now that I'm not gonna like burn you. Yeah, I feel like you're like out of frame. <laughs> I was trying to dry it down or no? I mean, a little bit. I feel like I'll be in the middle of trying to blend that out on my face and then it dries so quick and then I'm like, oh no. It does dry quick and starts getting tacky, I feel like. Okay, and then this, I had never even heard of this, uh, but Julie brought it. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Skin 24 Skin Tint in 118. It might be a little dark, but... People are saying that this is a viral foundation. <gasps> viral. We're trending. We're trending. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I used to be like really different with how I do my foundation, but I like to just put it in my palm of my I put mine on the back of my hand. So I've done that before too. I don't know why the palm. I think because the palm, I know it's not going to touch my rings, which the back oh, of the hand would true. do that too. But um, I just put it on like I'm putting on a moisturizer and then I'll blend it out. We could be 11th gorgeous. Oh Do you gosh. remember 11th Gorgeous, yes. the sisters? Because we're basically, people think we're twins. We can just yes. pretend. Yes. Like. They still film, but it's very irregular. Yeah, and they do a lot of vlogs now. Yeah, and a lot of Target Shop With Me's. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I have Dallas Blush, actually, from Benefit is because oh, yeah, of they them. They did brave about that. I think every video for, like, months, that's all they talked about. So I went and bought it. <laughs> I'm surprised that I never got that blush because of them, but... 
And granted, it's been a long time since they've done makeup. I still wish they would do makeup. I know, I loved their makeup reviews and tutorials and stuff, so fun. Put up Beauty and Cupcake. Julie and I have started selling our makeup on Macari, so uh, you can peep our Macari. They're separate stores, but mm -hmm. um, I saw that she had posted this cupcake on her store, and that was one thing that I wanted to buy. Um, so I messaged her and I was like, bring it to me! <laughs> I know, I feel like I need to message you before I post anything. I'm yeah. like, do you, would you like to purchase this? <laughs> well, literally every time you put in your stories that you just upload to your store, I'm like, <laughs> gotta get it first. <laughs> yeah, I should have used some of that. I just put my other lip stuff on. Hold on, I'm gonna take this it off. This is the Vaseline Rosy Lips. It's allegedly a dupe for Laneige. I don't know if it's a dupe, but it's good. Yeah, every time you say that it's a dupe for that stuff, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. I gotta try it. <sighs> Decisions. Okay, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Never used this before. I think you'll love it. This, this is, is so pretty. I have to get some of this stuff. Yeah, it's nice. All right. Do you watch Erica Taylor? Uh, she's on TikTok, but she also posts everything on Instagram Reels. I don't think so. She's a makeup artist, and she is, I think she's 49 years old, so her. I think you might have sent me some of her stuff. Yeah. Is she the one that was saying that you need to use like a darker, slightly darker uh -huh. like foundation? Okay, yeah, I remember. Concealer, yep. She, she has really good tips. Her niche is, yeah. We're gonna use this. I'm like so excited to use this because you rave about this and I'm it's like It's so good. She's never used hourglass uh, I haven't. powders, so like I've been totally missing out guys. Ooh, the glow, I really could stop here. I mean I'm not, but I mean I could. Like do you see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it's a good concealer by itself, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah, this uh I guess the combo of the Super Stay and the Tarte Glow On. I am so glowy right now, and I did have an SPF with glow on. I'm like, what did I do with shape tape? Where did she go? Duh. It's right here. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, going hand with me. What were you saying about <laughs> the glowiness? It's so glowy. I mean, I had a glow glowy SPF on, but the primer wasn't glowy. So. But Erica says you gotta lift your face. She, her niche is 46 plus, but I think her tips are good for like any age, really. But she talks about, cause you know as we age, like things just mm -mm. droopy. Yeah. <laughs> so she has tips to help with that too. Yeah, we gotta be looking young over here. That's right. Like I was saying in one of my other get ready with me's, I don't know if I have it posted yet, probably do by now, but um, I was saying that like I don't really like dark eyeshadow looks anymore. Oh yeah. Just because my eyes are kind of deep set, and I feel like my eyes are brown, my eyes are deep set, and I feel like not that like my eyes are like super saggy or anything, yeah. but I feel like they're not quite as lifted as they were. Uh huh. And so it's like I don't even like to use a lot of really dark shadows because that. But then too, I'm like, is it because that's like the trend right now? That's true. To wear like lighter eyeshadows. Like yeah. is that why I'm not into it? I don't know. It's hard to say sometimes with stuff. Didn't you just say in your late latest get rid of me, like we were like, maybe I'm subliminally. Yeah, subliminally. <laughs> I can't even say it. I don't either. know. Subliminally. There it is. <laughs> Message. Yeah. The things I watch. I think so. Yeah. Cause it's like the brown mascara thing. I'm like, I've never in my life like wanted to use brown mascara. And then I feel like that's the thing. Kind of, don't you think so? That like more people yeah. use it now? I think just light makeup in general is very much. Like I'm like, can I ever go black? Black. <laughs> <laughs> can I ever go back to using black liner and like black mascara? I think I just, so, but maybe, maybe not I now. I will, but like I just feel like that just ages me so much now. Like it doesn't look good. I've also done a lot of research on like what color Season oh. I am. Have you ever done that? To I have So is that like a quiz or something, or how does that? Look yeah, work? it's like a quiz. Um, 
I'll link this down below if any of you guys are curious. I'm but curious. How <laughs> but there's this link. girl that like I found on. She does a lot of blog blog posts, but she has a YouTube channel too where she breaks everything down. Oh. Um, but yeah, like you've got like summer, spring, fall, winter, like different okay. color seasons, and then you would kind of figure out like. Is my undertone warm or cool? Mm. Like, what color are my eyes? Are they, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My hair, like, and it, you do it broken down like that, and then it kind of helps you figure out what season you're in based on, like, those things. And yeah. then from there, like, the seasons are broken down into, like, three different parts. Okay. Like, one's, like, the dark, That's medium, so and light mm -hmm. of each of the seasons. Mm -hmm. Twins. We're twinsies! Just different. But the handles are the same. <laughs> Which. This is what like. What number is that one? 302. Oh, okay, this is 300. I like Love that it. one. That would be like a good, like, more. Because, see, that's kind of like what I use when I do, oh, like, yeah. this. It's kind of like the same. What brand is that? This is Morphe. Oh, yeah. Artin. It was like in that set back in the day that, like, Jacqueline Hill. Oh, yeah. Her favorites. <laughs> Speaking of Jacqueline. Oof. Boy, girlfriend's <laughs> got a lot of drama going on. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so hard for me because I think that she is so good at her narrative that when I watch her, I'm like, this poor little thing is going through it. <laughs> but then I like read my little Reddit threads and I watch the videos about her and I'm like, wow, she's good. We're gonna use the Milani Dulce Pink throwback. Yes. I went in with the number seven lift and illuminate in number or in light to set the rest of my face. I like this because it helps keep things glowy. I heard they reformulated. Um, Jessica Braun was talking about it, uh, so I haven't tried that reformulation. That's the older one, and then uh, Air Hourglass Ambient <laughs> Lighting Luminous Bronze Light. I've been doing like very like around my hairline like light bronzer when I do bronzer. Um, Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna use, this is Julie's, it's the Balm. Mm -hmm. And this is like their most popular ones, but I don't think I've ever actually used the classic Mary, Mary Lou. Lou. Mary Luminizer. So I'm gonna do that, but the blush I'm gonna use is MAC Glow Play So Natural. This is a cream blush that kind of applies like a powder. It's kind of like ColourPop does. I don't know, it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've really loaded this on. I mean, Does it look good? with that one, I don't think there's a limit. Like, you can just uh, go look for years glow, and it never over applies. Glow, That's glow, so glow. pretty. I don't with even that feel gold. like I need a highlight after this thing. This is yeah. like a NARS orgasm dupe, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they have one that's like NARS orgasm, but it's like lighter. Oh, yeah. It's called the Luminoso. Well, no, not oh. Milani, but Nars, like... Oh, they like, have, like, a lighter version? Yeah. I see. I think so. This is probably more like the lighter version of... I don't know what the name is, but... Yeah. Something. Okay. I'm going to try this Milani highlighter in Dulce Perla. Yeah, I think that's right. Perla. Perla. Okay. I have been doing, like, a bigger brush for highlight. I mean, remember back in the day... You'd have like that, like very defined, mm -hmm. like, but I find it just gives like a streak. Whereas if you use a fluffy brush and just lightly tap on your skin, then it's more like infused into your face. Oh, so <laughs> look at that glow. <laughs> I'm still on board with the 2015, 2016 highlight. Me like, too. Right, I'm can like... you see me in outer space yet? Okay, I'll keep adding. <laughs> it's like, I feel like in 2016, like, this was like, maybe it was a little bit before that, that it was popular. And then once the really blinding highlight came out, this one was like, well, this one's a more natural one. <laughs> but like now when you use now this against it. the yeah. ones that are the actual natural ones, you're like, oh, this is intense. Right. <laughs> it's so funny how like things change. <laughs> it, they do change though. And I really like this Huda Cupcake. Uh, cup, 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 cup. <laughs> What do they say online? She's glitching. <laughs> <laughs> this was good. I just used it under my eyes because I didn't want to mat things down. Yeah, I'm very highlighted you. under there. Yeah. I like it. It's like she's awake. She's awake. She's, she's bright. Awake. She's bright. The only thing with me, I do, 
I don't know. I feel like I'm on the fence with this Revlon highlighter for or highlighter concealer for me. I feel like it's kind of settling a little bit. It's not really bad, but compared uh -huh. to like when I use this, uh -huh. I feel like she's. I might add a little bit of this. Let's just keep piling <laughs> the products. <laughs> just keep going. So on Julie's Macari store, I saw that she sold her uh, Amrezy, the old school one. And I've been pulling out makeup that I would be open to selling for my collection. And I'll share that on my channel in a future video. So I added this to that pile. And, <laughs> right. <laughs> and every day I'll like, I'll look at that pile when I'm doing my makeup and I'm like, you know, I kind of still want that. So I pulled it out and used it and I was like, no. Once I use that Amory Z one time, I'm like, we're back in. We're back in. Yeah, I was like, we can't get rid of her. No, no, not not a chance. Just get rid of this highlight. Okay, I am almost done. The next thing. It's so funny. I started doing my makeup before you, and I'm still <laughs> over here not done. We're like at the same level. <laughs> See, this is where I have to start first. <laughs> I'm using the same palette that uh, Julie has. It was funny because she didn't know I had this. And then she purchased hers off Macari. And then the next video she watched after for, of mine was my shot, my stash, where I pulled this out. She's like, oh, that's so funny. I know. I'm like, I just bought that. <laughs> this Helio color is my favorite right now, one and done. I just take some on my finger, tap it on my lid, and then carry it into my crease a little bit. And then I'll blend it out with a brush, and that's literally... That's it. When did that palette come out? Because while I was away from YouTube, I feel like I just fell off the world with makeup. <laughs> I did it come out like last fall or was it before that? It might have been a little before that, but not too much. It's not. And then like the old. retro glam that came out after that one, right? I'm not 100%, but that sounds accurate. I'm doing my brows now. We're going in with this e.l.f. brow lift stuff. I've been enjoying this so far. I've been doing my mascara right after my eyeshadow and then going in with my brow so my mascara has time to dry. I basically feel like I've got to like hurry up now because I'm like, oh my God, Abby's almost done. Almost. almost done. Oh my God. I know. We got to get to Brooke soon. I know. Brooke is probably like, um, I have your bagels. Get over here, ladies. Yes. We're going to be going to TJ Maxx today. You will. So I think our other video that we're going to post is going to be a haul, which will be up on Abby's channel, which yes. we'll probably mention that at the beginning. So yeah, we got to let the people know. Got to let them know. Um, here's my question about TJ Maxx. Do we film clips of us actually shopping? Because I feel like people really like that. Sure, we can. And throw or it in there. Yeah, where just it's kind of like a show. vlog and a haul. Yes. Brooks, Brooke will be down. Brooke does not have a life on social media. <laughs> what? You just live your life offline? But she's very open to being in like the vlogs and stuff. See, look at my brows. I feel like when I first do it, it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but they tend to fall down a little bit. I feel like once it kind of heats up with your body temperature. Yeah, that makes sense. That's science, I think. Yeah. I'm using the Lash Paradise. You know what? Uh, drugstore, I find, I do gravitate, especially now with the world being so expensive. Um, I do gravitate towards a lot of drugstore makeup, but in particular, I've noticed a lot of my favorites are L'Oreal. Like, I love L'Oreal mascara, the Pro Glow, mm -hmm. the Luminite Lotion. Oh, they just... oh, yeah. I do like Maybelline. I think Maybelline's a close second for drugstore loves. Same. I'm gonna, speaking of Maybelline, I'm gonna use this Nudes of New York. This is Abby's palette. I guess we didn't really say that. We were kind of sharing oh. each other's makeup. We kind of <laughs> mentioned it. We'll, we'll we talk can... about it at the There intro. we go. <laughs> this is Too Faced Pomade and a Pencil. But I've just heard so many people rave about this palette. So, you know, I gotta see what the hype's about. We are easily influenced. We are. Just I'm gonna put do it out Explorer there. Explorer right here. We're gonna put that in the crease. I guess your favorite is this one right here. I can't see the name on it. The one that probably is the Whoa, most. Whoa, that is very pigmented. I was like not uh, expecting yeah. it to be that pigmented. It's legit. 
The, um, the Nudes of New York by Maybelline is the number one, like, true drugstore eyeshadow palette. There's a lot of singles that are good. There's a lot of, like, um, maybe, like, two-color options, like, elf and stuff. But for, like, true palette, mm -hmm. that's always the one is that I suggest. Is this one still sold? Mm -hmm. This one? Okay. Maybe I need to get this and do some looks on my channel. Do some it. looks. All right, so that was really pigmented, super easy to blend out. Julie returning to YouTube is the best thing that happened to me this year. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of my followers would say the same. <laughs> the moment she said, I'm coming back, I like, I was unwell. I was just so excited. Like, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my She's gosh. Like, I feel bad that you got laid off, but I'm so happy. That I was like, dreams do come true. <laughs> Um, That's how you know that Abby's a true follower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Merit Beauty Clear Gel. Mm -hmm. Keeping it simple. I should probably See, like, look at my oh. eyebrows. It's like they have fallen down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like... Definitely. And that eyeshadow looks really pretty. Mm. I'm probably just going to do simple since we're, like, trying to hurry up now. <laughs> Yeah, I should text Brooke. You know, it wouldn't be a tutorial without me if I didn't use this. <laughs> Gotta get that highlight. Oh my gosh, the very first time Julie and I hung out and we were going through our makeup, because that's just what we do every time we hang out, I felt like I was meeting a celebrity when I met this because of how much she uses it. I'm like, oh, hi, I'm so excited to meet you. I mean, probably next to like the L'Oreal True Match powder, the super blendable, like that is probably my second, well, and also Revlon Color Stay. That's up there with like the most used and repurchased products for me. And done. What? I'm not done yet. I gotta do my mascara. <laughs> All right, I gotta hurry up. Let's go ahead. We'll, I gotta do my eyebrows. I gotta finish them real quick and then we'll mist and then we'll just throw on our mascara real quick. I'm gonna do, I think we're gonna end up using the same lip. We're not grossed out by it, so don't be grossed out. You guys don't be grossed out. And if out. you are grossed out by it, oh well. Then don't share with your <laughs> friends. <laughs> this is Cheeky Superstay Vinyl by Maybelline. This is a lot of Maybelline and L'Oreal outside of the few high ends that we use. That is true. And then I'm really light with my lips, so I still had uh, some of the Vaseline on and I just leave it on. We're gonna mist real quick. I need to mist too. And then my hair, I was very chaotic when I curled it, but I feel like once I flip my hair and hairspray it, she'll be exactly where we need to be. I mean, chaotic is more natural looking, you know? That's true. I definitely like it when the, I feel like sometimes my curls might end up looking too perfect and I feel like when it looks too perfect, it just doesn't look as good. It looks better right. when it's a hot mess. <laughs> We're such divas right now. We're like, mm, gotta get our feet. <laughs> Last night we were both in the mirror in the bathroom trying to see if our hair color was the exact same. <laughs> and yeah. what do we say? Yours just a little bit darker. Yeah, it looks like it's slightly darker. It probably looks lighter right now because I have dry shampoo in it. I feel like that always lightens it up slightly. Oh yeah, I agree. This is my natural root to tip. Natural color took me off. I'm gonna put Quite this some time. mascara on so you can see what it looks like. Yes, please do. The burgundy one that I've been loving. So did you put on a coat of the sky and high and then you do that? No, no I haven't so, done anything oh, okay. yet. This is my natural lash. Oh, it's I love it. They dark. I do feel like the grande lash makes my lashes darker. I still oh, use that stuff. Okay, yeah, I think that's all you put it on last night. <laughs> Julie's still over here. The caboose is still going. This is why my, um, my get ready with me's are so long. Mm. <laughs> because it takes me forever to do my makeup. All right, so I'm going to do cheeky today, too. I love how glowy I am. Super glowy. I feel like I'm pretty glowy, too. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Is this cheeky? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cheeky. One of my followers, Susan, or Sue, she was telling me her favorites, and she said that Awestruck in this one is her favorites from this one, so I was like, oh. ooh, I gotta get cheeky. Cheeky. Yeah, this one is a little lighter than Awestruck. 
That one's almost like just your lip color a little bit more enhanced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I guess it depends on the color of your lips, but I think, at least for us. Uh-huh. Sorry, ladies. Jared. <laughs> Jared! Quiet on the set! <laughs> Look how glowy we are. Can you see the glow from the kitchen? <laughs> okay. All right, we're done. Done! We did it. So pretty. So does our makeup look the same? Like the way I think. Are we twinning? Are we twinning? Can you tell us apart right now? I'm Abby. <laughs> Actually, I'm Abby. Oh. <laughs> I'm Julie Donna Olson. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end this, but yes. definitely check out Abby's channel to see our video where we haul about what we got at TJ Maxx, mm -hmm. even though we haven't been there yet. And I think we might also kind of do it a little bit vlog style. Yeah. It might be like a shop with us Yeah, at TJ Maxx. The people so. wanna see what's on the shelves, okay? Yes, so I they think we should know. give that to them. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and hopefully I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Nope, you're perfect. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, go check out Abby's channel. Go check out her video. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you are new and you came over from Abby's channel and you like my hey. content, please subscribe. Please. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we will, or I will, mm -hmm. see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>